incubator. There was a request on incubators, so I figured I'd show you what we use. This here is one we're just building. This is going to be another one. But as you can see, it's just a common refrigerator. We have our uh, Ranko control on it. They're I like them a lot. I use them for my room, everything. And this thing here is just gutted. <coughs> and I got the wire coming through for the heat tape. And we use 11 inch flex watt for them. And we use that. And we put a little computer fan in. They circulate the air. Which I gotta move this probe on the other side. That probe is for the Ranko. We're moving that here in a little bit. And then we'll get some light diffusers from like Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever. And we'll put probably a dozen shelves or better in here. Not much, just an old refrigerator that didn't work. We just took out the, uh, the compressor and all the good shit. And we took out the ice maker and we kept that. We'll put that on eBay, make some extra money. <laughs> Kids over there laughing at me. But, it's nothing to them, man. It's all cake and pie. This thing here cost me about, I don't know, the controller I got off eBay. I buy all of my shit off eBay. This thing here cost me, I think it was 40 bucks. Then the cord, which I can't tell you where I got that from, but I already got it from Walmart. Yeah, we just bliced her in. That's the probe and the flex watt. Watch eBay because you can find great prices on that sh off eBay. I got I think 20 feet for like 10 bucks. And anybody that uses the 11 inch flex watt, they know they know it's a hell of a deal. The refrigerator cost me nothing. You know, a friend give it to me. He didn't want it. Uh, the computer fan. Um. Just took it out of a computer that didn't work. I collect a lot of junk. You know, if there's any value to it, then we use them for what parts we can use, and the rest of them we scrap. And we'll just wire that up and punch it through the side. And you see, that's almost a perfect fit right there. So that'll pull the air through that hole and blow her out around here, or vice versa. You know. And if I get bored, maybe I'll wire another one up on the bottom or something. Put them on a timer. And these these things here, they usually run. They'll stay constant about 88 to 89. I incubate at 88 degrees. A lot of people do 89, but I I like mine at 88. I feel better. But yeah, see, it's just a plain Jane refrigerator. Don't know how to show you couple basic tools, a drill, a couple more drills, some drill bits and some screws. And when I get her all done, fired up and working, and get some uh, digital thermostats in there, or not thermostats, what the hell do you call them? You all know what I'm talking about. Just temperature gauge, whatever. Um, and I'll put another video up on the finished product. And of course, when I start getting eggs next year as I throw them in here in their uh, in their shoe boxes or you know the next size up box. We use Sterlite Sterlite boxes and Hatchrite. I highly recommend Hatchrite. There's no pissing around with mixing it, and you just dump it right out of the back into your container. Put your eggs in. Put her put her in your incubator. You know, I pop my lids every two days just to get a little extra air flowing. But, yep, that's all you need.